You know the importance of Monday Night Football to the NFL and to the broader football landscape. The concept of Monday Night Football first premiered on September 21st, 1970. And since that time, the Baltimore Ravens have participated in a total of 29 NFL football games on Monday night. And a fun fact is that they played three games on Monday night in one season in 2007. And today I'm gonna to tell you how the Ravens and the flock have performed on Monday night in preparation for our upcoming game on Monday Night Football. First, let's look at the overall record of the Baltimore Ravens on Monday Night Football. And honestly, it could be a little better. The Ravens are currently 16 and 13 on Monday Night Football, which is a winning percentage of 55%. Now, if you're one of those people who enjoy making money when the Ravens win, I have good news for you because the Ravens have been better against Vegas than their opponents. The Ravens are currently 18 and 11 against the spread, which is much better 62% winning percentage overall. Lamar Jackson is four and two all time on Monday Night Football with his most memorable moments being the time he scored five touchdowns on a Los Angeles Rams defense that included Jalen Ramsey and of course Aaron Donald in 2019. And my favorite moment of all time for Lamar Jackson's entire career when he threw for 442 yards, completing 86% of his passes against the Indianapolis Colts and that legendary come from behind victory in 2021. We Ravens fans, we're about winning. So let's talk about the best game the Baltimore Ravens have ever played on Monday Night Football. It's the holiday season and it feels like it. 29 degrees on this clear cold night in Baltimore. And m and Bank Stadium is the site for Monday Night Football. Fun fact, it is the most lopsided game in Monday Night Football history. The biggest whooping the Baltimore Ravens have ever put on an opponent was led by someone you kids may have forgotten about, Kyle Bowler. Kyle Bowler led the Ravens to a 48-3 victory over Brett Favre and the Green Bay Packers on December 19, 2005. In this game, the Ravens scored a total of six touchdowns, three of them coming from Kyle Bowler, who also threw for 253 yards on 19 completions and had a quarterback rating of 136.8. This is probably Kyle Bowler's best game in his entire career from a productivity standpoint. When we look at the rushing numbers, we got to point to Jamal Lewis, the Ravens' great running back, who carried the ball 22 times for 105 yards and one touchdown, and the Ravens' great tight end, now probably the second best tight end in Ravens history. Sorry, Todd. In this game, Todd Heat had nine receptions for 110 yards and two total touchdowns. The Ravens defense also came up big, scoring a touchdown itself with a fumble return by Adelius Thomas. Again, someone you young kids might not remember. The defense caused a total of five turnovers, forcing two fumbles and intercepting the ball three times. One of those interceptions, of course, belonging to the great Ed Reed. Now that we've talked about the best Monday Night Football game in Baltimore Ravens history, let's take the magnifying glass out and look at some of the best performers in Baltimore Ravens history on Monday Night Football. First, of course, we're going to start with the quarterback position. Now, you might have guessed that Joe Flacco has the most yards ever thrown on Monday Night Football, and a lot of that is just because he's played the most games on Monday Night Football. When we look at games played by a quarterback on Monday Night Football, Joe Flacco leads it with Lamar coming in second, and then players like Bowler and Gerback rounding out the top five. But overall, it's safe to say that the most effective quarterback on Monday Night Football for the Ravens has been Lamar Jackson. When we look at the completion percentages for quarterbacks for Monday Night Football, Lamar, he currently leads in touchdowns and has never ever thrown an interception in Monday Night Football history. Lastly, Lamar Jackson has the highest quarterback rating of all Baltimore Ravens quarterbacks on Monday Night Football with a rating of 118.2. So though Joe has more experience on Monday Night Football, and has thrown for more yards overall, it's obvious that Lamar Jackson has been the better performer on Monday nights. And while we're talking about Lamar Jackson, believe it or not, he also leads the Ravens for rushing yards on Monday Night Football as well, with 532 total rushing yards with six games played. He's played less games on Monday Night Football than running backs like Ray Rice and Willis McGay, but still leads the Ravens with total rushing yards. When it comes to averages, Lamar Jackson averaged 88.7 yards per game, which is only behind Justin Forsett and Kenyon Drake. 
However, it's important to note that they play less games overall than Lamar Jackson. Justin Forsett played two games and Kane Drake has only played one game for the Ravens on Monday nights. Lastly, when it comes to total touchdowns for the Ravens on Monday night, the leader may surprise you. Running back Willis McGahee has five total touchdowns on Monday night football. Now let's transition to the wide receivers and it may be a big surprise who is the most productive receiver for the Ravens on Monday nights. The answer is of course, Derek Mason, who played a total of 11 games for the Baltimore Ravens on Monday nights. Derek Mason, who is the Baltimore Ravens leading receiver in terms of yards and receptions currently, is leading the Baltimore Ravens in receiving yards on Monday nights, receiving yards per game on Monday nights, total targets on Monday nights, and total receptions on Monday nights. He is currently tied with Todd Heath, another Ravens great, for touchdowns on Monday nights. All in all, Derek Mason is obviously the go-to player on ESPN for the Ravens. However, it's important to see that Todd Heath, Mark Andrews, and Marquise Hollywood Brown also have performed well when it comes to playing on prime time on Mondays. Now, defensively, anyone can guess some of the leaders in some of the categories. For example, we know for interceptions, the leader is, of course, Ed Reed, with four total interceptions on Monday Night Football. It's obvious to me that the greatest safety in the history of football will lead the Ravens in interceptions on Monday night. Also, when it comes to tackles, this is a legitimate landslide and belongs to, again, the greatest middle linebacker in the history of football, Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis leads with 98 tackles on Monday events and people who love football history. And when we talk about sacks numbers, again, no surprise, you guys can guess it, Terrell Suggs leads all Ravens players with defensive sacks on Monday night at nine, almost doubling the next highest person, which is Peter Bowlware for the Baltimore Ravens, who has 5.5 sacks on Monday night football. Again, super, super interesting. All of these numbers here about the Ravens and who leads all these categories. And that, guys, was a quick recap of the Baltimore Ravens versus Monday night football. You guys let me know in the comments below if you like this video. If you did, it was interesting, subscribe. Thanks. Go Ravens.